May the peace of the Lord be with you all. As we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Come, let us now listen to the Word of God. October 2, 2024 Memorial of the Holy Guardian Angels A reading from the book of Job Job answered his friends and said, Indeed I know that this is so, but how can a mortal be just before God? If one wished to contend with him, one could not answer him once in a thousand. He is wise in heart, and mighty in strength, who has resisted him, and succeeded, he who removes mountains, and they do not know it, when he overturns them in his anger, who shakes the earth out of its place, and its pillars tremble, who commands the sun, and it does not rise, who seals up the stars, who alone stretched out the heavens and trampled the waves of the sea, who made the bear and Orion, the Pleiades, and the chambers of the south, who does great things beyond understanding, and marvelous things without number. Look, he passes by me, and I do not see him, he moves on, but I do not perceive him. He snatches away, who can stop him? Who will say to him, what are you doing? How then can I answer him, choosing my words with him? Though I am innocent, I cannot answer him, I must appeal for mercy to my accuser. If I summoned him and he answered me, I do not believe that he would listen to my voice. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm The response is, Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Every day I call on you, O Lord, I spread out my hands to you. Do you work wonders for the dead? Do the shades rise up to praise you? Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Is your steadfast love declared in the grave, or your faithfulness in Abaddon? Are your wonders known in the darkness, or your saving help in the land of forgetfulness? Let my prayer come before you, Lord. But I, O Lord, cry out to you, in the morning my prayer comes before you. O oh Lord, why do you cast me off? Why do you hide your face from me? Let my prayer come before you, Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to Matthew. The disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child, whom he put among them, and said, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. Take care that you do not despise one of these little ones, for, I tell you, in heaven their angels continually see the face of my Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord Gospel Reflection The reality of angels is fascinating to most people, especially to children. The guardian angels, in particular, are often pictured in sacred art as walking hand in hand with children. And though this is true, they also walk hand in hand with each one of us throughout our lives. This is their sacred duty given to them by God. In quoting St. Basil, the Catechism of the Catholic Church explains the existence of guardian angels by saying, from its beginning until death, human life is surrounded by their watchful care and intercession. Beside each believer stands an angel as protector and shepherd leading him to life, number 336. Imagine, in an earthly sense, that you had a personal bodyguard to look after you day and night throughout your life. Perhaps this evokes two different sentiments. First, it would most certainly comfort you when there is imminent danger around. You would know you are not alone and that you would be kept safe from physical harm. 
Another sentiment it may invoke is that of a loss of personal privacy. If someone were watching over you, day and night, you would always be aware of their watchful eye. Everything you said and did would be noticed. For some, this may not always be welcome. Why? Because this means they see all you do, including your sin. Fear of judgment, the loss of personal privacy and the like may be difficult to accept. But now imagine that this bodyguard is one who offers no judgment, acts with perfect love for you, keeps confidentiality with perfection and cares only for your well-being. Though it may be hard to imagine that such a person could exist, that person does exist in the person of your guardian angel. Your guardian angel is real, has a keen and powerful intellect, has a will perfectly united with the will of God, and was created for the single purpose of protecting you and leading you into the fulfillment of God's will. When you sin and stray, your guardian angel's only concern is to guide you back to God. When you are fearful or in trouble, your guardian angel's only care is to protect you and fill you with God's peace and courage. And though God could have provided you with all of these graces directly, without the mediation of an angel, he chose to do so through the mediation of your personal guardian angel. Only in heaven will we fully understand the profound depth of love, protection, and care given to us by these angelic beings. Reflect, today, upon the intimate knowledge that your guardian angel has of you. As you ponder this reality, rejoice that someone knows you so well and loves you with a perfect love. This angel of yours not only loves you perfectly but also has been entrusted with great power from God to protect you and shepherd you to the fulfillment of your life mission. Prayerfully acknowledge the great gift that your guardian angel is to you and entrust yourself more fully to this angelic mediation. Let us pray. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Guardian angel, pray for me. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share it with your friends and family, so that they may also be blessed as you are. May God bless you.